is doing. Um, I want to say something about Paul. Obviously, uh, to get this win, you know, uh, and on the road and everything else, and to be able to, um, you know, um, to be able to say that we got a huge win. You know, obviously after a, a tough, tough loss of, of Paul Allen, he's uh, he meant so much to us, all of us, all of us players. The the culture that he was able to create. And uh, that will forever live on here for the Seattle Seahawks and just uh, the impact that he's made, not just for, for us in, as individuals, but as a team, but also as a city. And there's probably not too many people that have impacted the world more than he has. Um, obviously from Microsoft to all the things that he's done for other people, um, for brain research, everything else, to all the animals around the world. I mean, I think that uh, there's so much more, um, you know, about Paul Allen that will forever miss, but for, you know, forever remember. And I think that uh, I just have so many memories of Paul, just music and how much that meant to him. And just to be able to share that with Sierra and talk to him about those moments like that. And, um, you know, he, he was a man that had so much grace and so much love for the world. Um, so we'll forever, you know, miss him, but we'll always remember him. Do you, would you have scripted a, can you imagine a 17 pass game that's a perfect passer rating, three touchdowns and throwing efficiently as you did, but only 17 times? Yeah, I think that um, our receivers did a tremendous job of getting open. I thought, you know, um, you saw Tyler in the back corner there. That was um, a great catch by him. And you see David Moore make the next big kind of catch. Um, you know, and then, you know, to see Ed Dixon get his first touchdown and go, go up and get it. He, me and him were able to get a lot of extra work before and after practice. And, showed up right there and just he's worked so hard to get back it was exciting to see him and then um, you know the great thing about our team right now is it doesn't matter uh, who's making the plays it doesn't matter you know what's going on at the end of the day all that matters is each other and all that matters is us winning and finding a way to win and doing whatever it takes to win um, so that's really showed you know showed up in the past several weeks you know um, felt like we had a great chance against the Rams we, you know field goal away from winning that game you know, and it could be five straight wins, you know. So, you know, but the, the, end, the ultimate goal is to go one, one and away each week and just find a way to win. And our defense was lights out, you know, tough all day. Uh, came up with some big, big plays. Our offensive line, I mean, got to give those guys credit. I think, you know, with Dwayne Brown up front, just do all the things he can do. Sweezy as physical and as athletic as he, as he is. And, and uh, you know, obviously Justin Britt up front was one of the best centers in the game as well. And, and DJ Fluker has been tough as nails and just so passionate about the game. You know, we were able to run the ball really well. And the done a tremendous job, too, the past several weeks. So it starts with those guys. And they set the attitude and the tempo. Uh, we were able to do a lot of things on offense. Coach Schottenheimer's doing a tremendous job of calling a lot of different plays and looks and things that we want to be able to do from the passing game to the run game to the, to the, to the movement game and everything else. And, and guys are just making plays. Um, you know, so it's been exciting. It's been exciting just to see what we're doing. And, uh, it's just you got to enjoy the process. It's a long journey, a lot more to do. And so we're we're keeping our heads down and, and just trying to trying to be great every game. Tyler said you're not pecking 